If I had one wish, it would not be for world peace. It would not be to make sure no child ever goes to bed hungry again. No, no, no. I would wish for one thing and one thing only. That the writer's strike would have never ended. Because none of them deserve to make a single solitary cent on anything they ever make anymore. I say this because I just watched the new Roadhouse trailer produced by Amazon Prime. And it's as bad as you could possibly predict it's going to be. We're really at this point now where you could know everything about a movie, whether it's going to be good or bad, just based on if it's a remake or not, though. I don't think anyone saw the original Roadhouse movie that was involved in this one, and it looks like just a pathetic wish knockoff, and, and that's it. So let's go to this trailer, scene by scene, and we are just going to absolutely do a deep dive into this. Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Okay. I don't need my main characters to be funny. I know we just paused at the five second mark, and he only said one line. But everything doesn't need to be a comedy these days, and I really think the movie Gardens of the Galaxy might be one of the most significant movies in the past, I don't know, 30 years or something like that, though. Because after that movie came out, everything had comedy in it. We never really saw that before, though. But now, people think that you have to make your characters funny in order for them to be successful and likable. So, let's keep going with this. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it Too long. You, 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 you killed the joke. All he had to say was, hey, you guys have insurance? And then go into the ass kicking. There's... There's no reason to keep this joke going, but you know what? Better, smarter people are involved in these studios, so let's just keep it going then. Like, too far? I, about like 25 minutes, I'd say. Why, 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 why are you talking, friend? You're supposed to be on their side. Why are you interjecting with this? Uh, I just slapped you. Are you alright? What? <laughs> what? What are we doing here? Again, the jokes. We're a few seconds in and nothing but jokes at this point. I mean, it looks cool, I guess, but it it's it's kind of stupid, right? Was was Patrick Swayze just slapping people the entire time? I don't I don't remember. I have to watch the entire movie again though, because that's all I get out of this trailer. That I want to watch the original Roadhouse again. You ever win? No one ever wins a fight. Also, look at the massive downgrade from what we had in the original to this now. I don't like that he's a UFC fighter. I just, I, I don't really care about it at all because what he does now in the in the movie as a bouncer does not translate to UFC fighting at all. A friend of mine suggested I come talk to you. Why? Why? Oh, okay, I'm gonna spoil a little bit though. She apparently needs a bouncer, so she finds a homeless man, essentially homeless man, that was a UFC fighter that's making zero dollars now. Do you think that's a reliable person right now? If you if your business is on the line, have you ever been that like that destitute, that desperate before in your entire life that you have to think, okay, I have to pay this homeless man to solve my problem. If you do that, you do not deserve to be a business owner. Maybe your company's garbage for a reason. I own a roadhouse. That's the name of the movie. Out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. I don't believe that for a single solitary second. At all. I don't believe that this beautiful resort place, though, is somehow attracting the grossest people at this time. Like, let, let me just go back to this. Let's just see how beautiful this place is. Florida Keys, beautiful. Yeah, this tropical island paradise. You're telling me this has now become like a rundown bullshit biker bar? I, 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 come on, I don't, I, I don't believe that for a second, guys. That's just a real, no one's going here. This is a beautiful sandy resort. Look at this, all beautiful places here. You're not getting the worst of the worst. They're not traveling here, though. Why would, why would they do that? I can pay you good money. Judging by your car, you need that. Why am I paying a homeless man to save my life and my problems? Doug Ligma, okay, director and producer of the, the Born Identity. Yeah, this beautiful paradise of a place is is attracting the scumbag, gross biker groups and stuff like that. Like, no, no, they're not. 
They're not coming down here. There's so many other shittier places. Look how beautiful these places are in the background. No, I don't. No, come on. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. That kid's probably gonna get. Oh God, is that a fucking Sam? Oh, what was his name from the original? You got a skinny little runt named Dalton working here. Because I don't see Sam Elliott in this at all, though, or someone that would be Sam Elliott. So back, is this is this gonna be like? The Sam Elliott character or something like that? The, the the best friend that dies and then that, of course, sets Dalton over the edge. He's like, I must start killing people now. Really interesting guy, overall. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. You were just the comic relief of this movie, and I hope there's better things in your future. But holy shit, there, there's too much comedy in this. Man wants to take the roadhouse away from me. He wants to build some resort. You're already on a resort. You're on the fucking Florida Keys. It's 99% resorts. And here is the problem. I I just, I don't understand the internet right now looking at Conor McGregor and saying what a great job he looks like in this movie. This is fucking Andy Serkis, the guy that played fucking Claw and Black Panther. Okay, remember in Civil War, that character, how he seemed like really intelligent and intimidating? I only deal with the man in charge. And then he's in Black Panther, he's just sort of cracking jokes and singing and look like an absolute crazy person. Uh Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. That is what happened with this movie. And they told Conor McGregor, watch, watch Andy Serkis in Black Panther, and that's who you're gonna be. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're having a smashing night. You're having a smashing night. The dude that was involved in the Born Identity. Th that's a line in this. So... Obviously, Conor McGregor is going to be nothing more than an absolute wasted character in this. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Just one-liners. Oh my god, he's going to play the fucking guy in the original. Remember the, um, the guy that Dalton was fighting in the end? And he had one of the most iconic lines of all time of... <laughs> I used to fuck guys like you in prison. That wasn't like a funny thing. That was an absolute serious line, and it paid off really well, and it showed that this guy is kind of intimidating, but now we're going to get something similar to that, I imagine, and it's just going to come off as just stupid, cringy, and ridiculous. I get the impression that he can't be threatened. I don't really see the transition from UFC fighter to action superhero, you know, Scott Atkins type of karate and shit like that though i don't really understand that and that's why i don't like the ufc style of it where it shows his backstory it would have been a little bit better if he was just a street fighter and then could just do all these things or you know maybe we don't even have to explain it all like you know the rock from walking uh walking tall or something like that though he just does these things i just think having him as a ufc fighter that has learned all these styles and disciplines and now he's doing all this you know, off the wall, I don't know, um, parkour type of fighting. It just, it doesn't really fit with this at all. Does anyone else think that? Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. Just fucking, I, I love Conor McGregor. I think he should be the president of Ireland or something like that, though. I don't see a really great future in the world of acting if this is what you're doing with him, with his first big major thing. Don't, he keeps referring to himself in the third person. He looks, he looks... He looks stupid. He looks like just an unhinged guy, and he's definitely someone I would not want to hire to be my enforcer. I couldn't trust this guy at all. Yeah, like, why would I hire this man? There are a thousand other people that are more disciplined that I would rather have. Yeah, this is this is, this is is a, a bad guy in 2024. Just this over-the-top flamboyant type of dude. Talks in the third person. Looks absolutely ridiculous. Just great, great job, everyone. It just looks too much. It just, it, it's cool, but it's not Roadhouse. It's not grounded. This is going way, way, way over the top. And they're like, hey, you know what? The original was really great. You know what would make Roadhouse even better, though? If it just had a bunch of comedy and bigger explosions, right? I, I, don't, I don't doubt it all for a second. We're going to get an action-packed fight scene between these two. And obviously, I think that's going to be what people mainly want to see and that's what i want to see too i don't give a fuck about the storyline it looks it looks terrible but i think the action is going to be good but 
it is going to be one of those movies where you just shut your brain off and just watch it and that's it. Fuck, that's, that's Roadhouse. When's this thing coming out? March 21st. Great. Okay. So we got a couple months into it. Um, yeah, it looks it looks terrible. It looks exactly what I thought it was going to be. I thought this was a meme for a while. I didn't think this was kind of a serious thing, though. I, I thought this was actually a joke, just, you know, saying that Hollywood is doing nothing but doing remakes and sequels these days. So, for a while, I thought this was kind of fake. I thought there was going to be, like, Ronda Rousey in this. I, I believe... I don't know why. I just saw it on the internet, though. But I think they originally wanted to do a Roadhouse movie, but with her as the main star. And I guess that must have fallen through because, obviously, they knew that was going to be terrible. But this isn't much better. Um, overall, uh, doesn't doesn't look good at all. It just looks like uh, they took something that was great and said, you know what would be better? Just put some more uh, explosions into it and one-liners and comedy. The uh, the guy that Conor McGregor's playing, I guess he's going to be the same parallel as the uh, guy that uh, was named Patrick Swayze was fighting in the original. But it's I get nothing from this. I don't need my, my villains to be way over the top. And... That's what they're doing with this. This is just the writing of today. They don't know what to do. They say, like, just let's just be as loud as humanly possible. Let's just be big as humanly possible. And people are going to be stunned by the action and everything like that. But it just looks... It just looks soulless. You know? You could have called this movie anything. You could have named... You honestly could have done that. You could have called these characters different names. And titled it something different. And no one would have remotely got the same vibe that this is Roadhouse. You would say maybe it's like a copy, but I'm not going to say this is exactly like Roadhouse at all. I don't... I'm, again, looking through this, this place looks like a nice family place. Like a nice family restaurant and everything like that. I don't picture biker bar with the grossest of the grossest here and just the most degenerate clientele ever. And that's what the original one. It had like a, a biker bar in the middle of the highway in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, I could see it attracting those type of people, but just this now... You're, you're not getting this in uh, the Florida Keys and the beautiful, luxurious paradises or anything like that. So, I don't know. I'm a, I, I, I guess I can keep saying the same thing over and over again, but this looks, this looks bad. I know it's the initial trailer, but it does not look good at all. And, yeah, I'm definitely going to give a full review of this, though. But I'm definitely going to do the original Roadhouse first, though, because that looks leaps and bounds better than this, though. So, what do you guys think about this? Is that even a fair thing to say? I don't think... I don't think anyone could possibly think this is going to be a great movie. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. I'm really curious.